All right, so two valuable lessons have been learned so far. One, some of these pallets are made like Ford Knox. They're impossible to bust up without breaking the wood. Hence those two pallets sitting over there. Lesson two, one pallet is quite a bit of wood. I was thinking I needed three. One is looking like plenty of wood for my project. So I'm gonna put the other two back after I'm done with this one. So I've decided to make a cat house for my pallet project. Uh, people call them different things, cat condo, cat house, cat tower. Anyways, they're the things you'll see in a pet store that are different heights, different sizes. They'll have uh, rope columns and carpet and uh, things for the cat to scratch on and climb on. A little house up top for them to sleep in. So anyways, I found this in the stack of pallets, this gym right here. I cut it up to different sizes. This here I'm going to use as the base. It's got these cross beams, which will uh, lend pretty good support, I think, for the columns, which I'm going to use the cross beams from my pallet. Three of them is my plan as of now. These are going to be wrapped in rope to give it that finished look. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, so here's the plan as of now. I think I'm going to uh, cut these beams mounted on here somewhat, enough to work with for now. Screws up to the bottom. Uh, I'm going to attempt to use the natural shape of the pallet here. I'm going to cut out a little, a little bit from each of these in order to have each level mounted on. So one level, two level, a third level on top. Second level is where I'm going to sit the house in this corner. I have a porch over here. <coughs> and then somehow I'm going to figure it out as we go. Put maybe a uh, ladder or a plank or something for the cat to play with. We'll figure it out as we go. Alright, so like I said, uh, these are going to be wrapped in rope of some sort, so I don't need them to look too polished or anything, I'm just sanding them off a little bit just to make sure there's no splinters that will get the cat. So I uh, stopped by the carpet store today on my way home from work and uh, just asked them if there was any extra carpet that they were throwing out or whatever in the dumpster. Told me to help myself. Simple as that. I was going to consider going and buying some, but I got a couple rolls of different kinds for, uh, for free, so nothing wrong with that. Alright, so here's the latest. I, uh, I've got all my carpets cut, got my levels cut, I need to finish up some stuff on that. My plan here is to notch out a right angle here, 90 degree angle, the way I did at the bottom, for the second level to sit on. Doing that, I was just using a hand saw to cut down, cut across. Uh, probably not the best technique, but it works gets the job done. So that'll be next. Second level will be here. Third level is going to go on top of these beams. And uh, that's where the house is going to sit. I'm about to get to work on the house. We'll see how that goes momentarily.
All right, so I always like to keep the budget of my projects to, as close to zero as possible. Uh, part just because there's no need to spend money if you don't have to, and then also I like the challenge of it. So, so far I've used a pallet, uh, a piece of plywood pulled off the top of another pallet, and this board here I had from another project that I didn't end up using it on. I think it was about six bucks, give or take it the hardware store so uh, it looks solid enough I'm going to use that on the top there and uh, I'm going to start putting it all together got to put the carpet on these other two levels and start hooking it together Alright, so here's the deal. I've been pretty busy all week, haven't been able to put much time on this. It's finally Saturday. Got all the time in the world today, I'm gonna finish it up. Uh, got a lot of work to do, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it's incredibly hot today, so that ought to make it fun. Uh, it's about 10,000 degrees, I think. Uh, just gonna deal with it, break a sweat, make it happen. And uh, <clears throat> Alright, so in the pallet that I got, all the boards were this size, this type of wood, except for two at the end. They're different thickness. So uh, right now I'm cleaning up these two wider boards, which uh, were really, really dirty, covered in this and that, so I'm just planing off a couple levels. I'm going to sand them down real smooth. There's some nice looking wood underneath all the junk. And uh, going to get to work on this box. For the box up top of the house, I'm going to go two boards tall. I think that'll be a perfect height for the little kitty. Then I'm going to go these. My dimensions are 10 inches by 15 inches for the size of the house. Um, just because that's what works with this size board I've got here. No other reason. But, uh, I found some of this scrap wood that I'm going to cut off pieces to go in each corner to brace this box. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this now and we'll assemble it. Alright, so I just finished putting the box, three walls of it together. Bam, right there. Now for this front wall, I'm going to use some of the last little bit of the plywood top palette that I found. Uh, finish it off right there. So I'm just going to measure, cut out a space here, cut a hole for the door, and uh, that'll be that for this step. So I was just about to go ahead and cut out the front of this and cut the door out and I realized I'm going to wait because I'm going to put the roof on in that direction. Um, if you can imagine with me here for a second. The front of the house is going to face the V of the roof, the door here. So I want to wait and go ahead and cut out one piece of wood that accommodates that entire space, the pentagon shape. So. Uh, I'm going to put this on the back burner for a minute, make the roof, get an accurate measurement, slip it in to fit just right. Alright, I got a little bit ahead of myself, forgot to video uh, 
what I did was took one of those pallet boards and I cut it into ten and a half inch sections. I then cut it in half lengthwise. I didn't want this thick of something up there as the roof brace. I then just held it up there and kind of eyeballed it and penciled in the angles I wanted. Jigsawed them so it's not perfect like I like it, but it's going to work. I took the end off of this that I was going to throw away. I'm going to set them in here, brace those together, hold it up to the house, mark out the curves that I need to sit on the wall on each end, and uh, go from there. So I thought I had the camera rolling, but uh, when I went to inside to show what had happened, I realized it wasn't. I hit my finger with a hammer real good, and there's like a, let's see if you can see. Anyways, that was the accident for the project. Hopefully, come on now. Uh, it hurt, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Alright, so I cut two uh, full size, uh, never mind. I took two pallet boards without cutting them at all, just the size they were, wrapped them in carpet. For these here, for two reasons. One, it's gonna be a ramp for her to run up to the second tier here. Also, just for extra support there on these. And uh, so far, this one I just tacked in with a hammer. I'm going to go back and put a screw in to really mount it on there good. This one I have not yet, so uh, bear with me. Alright, so two things. One, I'm just trying to work on stability here. Uh, I'm going to cut out some triangles out of this 2x4 to place right here as a support. Screw into here and into here. Just want to be durable as possible. And uh, I'm going to do something similar to these for this back leg going that way just to make sure this joker's stable. Bear with me. All right, simple solution. I'm going to cut a hole right here. Leave the back side exposed here, just like a square gap. Then I'll have another plank like these going from here up underneath where she can climb through that way. Alright, so I broke down and bought this uh, sisal rope at the hardware store. It was five bucks for 50 feet. Wasn't thrilled about that. I'm not sure how far it's going to go, so I'm about to tie some on here. And uh, I got this cat toy right here at the dollar store, $1. Um, I'm going to try to hang that somewhere for it to have something to play with. Alright, just doing a little finishing touches here. The uh, structure is pretty much complete. Just trying to spice it up a little bit. Found a couple shingles. Um, put shingles on there just to add to the look of it. Um, I just cut out these. These were left over from a former project. Scraps. Uh, just to put on a little doorway. Uh,
Did that there. I think I'm just gonna hot glue those on. And I've got this bucket here. I'm gonna cut the top and the bottom off of that. Have a tube. I'm gonna try to wrap that in carpet somehow. I'm not sure. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, for right here, for the cat to have a little tube to play around in. So that's where we stand right now. All right, so here's the latest. I uh, wrapped that bucket in carpet. <coughs> um, put a screw down through here in the top. And then a, you know, a washer and a bolt on the bottom side there. As far as this rope is concerned, uh, that one roll I got made it up that one little area. So that'll be a good scratching post for Maybe also a way to climb up here. I can't wait to see. I haven't showed it to her yet. So um, I'm just going to hang that toy. Finish this thing up and bring out the cat. Here's our finished product. Cat's Manor. This is how it's called. It's a great cat feed. So uh, obviously this is her house. Uh, we're taking a little tour of the place. Alright, there's our scratching post, a little tube to play in, third level, 